Hello guys, welcome to Crit Boy Updates. See your boy on the same channel. John O'Kaffer was poisoned, and the video you're about to watch, you're going to see him narrating how he was poisoned, and you're also going to know why his stomach is bigger than usual. Today's video, you're going to see everything. All you have to do is just to hit the right subscribe button if you're new on the channel, and kindly subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell. See you guys, and stay tuned. If not for God Almighty, I would have been a story. Perpetrated by people who don't love me. I know they take alcohol up to now. People say you know they take alcohol and your belly is big. The belly is an idiot. I don't even care. I don't know why they tell you. They just smoke more food. That's this way they give me that poison. It be bad like this before. If you see man, it be like food. But then they take medicine, take medicine, they say, God, they come down, God, God, they come down, come, they see my legs. Before they see my legs, I just go, they give me poison. They carry me go, they will say, we'll get show for them, they won't be there, begin to beat me. Let me finish, and they're shocking some poison, so I'll turn my mouth. I don't know where they are, I don't know where they leave me there. So my boys and my dancers, they came and picked me up. I'm not awake until they carry me go home. They don't give up. They call me grow. They don't know who it is. I wake. Hi. God say no. You're not going yet. Where well, they they snap me with the camera as I wake. All these things where they do the you know one person don't go now. I know. So some they do not. They hear. God, I love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, if not for God Almighty, I would have been a story. Perpetrated by people who don't love me, and then those of them who thought that uh, it's better they kill me than living. Well, I leave the case for God Almighty. Whatever they think I have done bad, let God judge. But if they are chasing me because their plans are many, even here in my office, they brought the first person here. I took it. I was falling around here for meeting. Nobody came to ask. Even the workers did not enter here, even though they were hearing me fall around. The first one, go, I vomited something in my bedroom. They gave me the second one. And the people that gave it is people that are working with me here. As well as the other one, unknowingly, because I never suspected them. Until when God opened my eyes. That is why all of them that were working here, but you cannot see any of them here. Except my sister that was working with me here. They pay them, give them enough money to make sure they eliminate me. All these plans are from Enugu, you know. There are some people in my town, people that, then some age grades. They were surprised I can come up, I can own some things, I can build houses in town, build places, uh, uh, buy houses in Lagos. Are you serious? Men are looking up. But their plans do not go peri pursue with God's decision. If God has ever decided yes, you can kill him. <laughs> you never know me. Turn up my boy, you like me. You can't come back. You don't see me. You put me in jail. But God say no, and when God say no, it's fine now. The little bit of I got up, blow the control wood off. The Chris, I got that right. I'm happy that day. I know. I know the talk. I know the bit talk. Now until the following day I begin to talk. People will look this and look at them. People will look this and look at them. And I look when they walk in my house. People will walk with me from my house. See, even my wife, when my wife comes, I say, look at this. I can't even recognize my wife. God, I thank you. If not you, if not you, God Almighty, the enemies would have rejoiced. But I'm not rejoicing. They are now ashamed of themselves. I cannot say go for prison. No. You know the kind of gift you are going to give them. Give it to them. <laughs> give it to them. So that they will assemble themselves together and say, God, I'm sorry. And they say they made the economy the sorry for my face.
Born John O'Kafor but better known as Mr. Ibu, he is a celebrated entertainer and is well known for his comic roles in Nollywood. How could one be so heartless, going that far to poison a fellow human being? It's terrible. This is to show how evil this world we are living in. The actor recently spoke about the happenings in Nigeria saying that the things going on are orchestrated by evil people who do not have the peace and unity of Nigeria at their heart. John Okafo has been the comic guy and other Nollywood comic actors who has been putting smiles on our faces due to their very funny demonstrations and interpretations of any roles given to them in the mobile industry. John Okafo is a funny man. What on earth a man like Mr. Ibu must have done to deserve him being poisoned or killed? Man, people are heartless. Like he said, people in the same age group with him from the same village try to murder him just because of his success. Well, all I can say to this funny actor is God protect him from all evil eyes. Talking about how he could have been dead and become another story, he says his big stomach is as a result of the incident and used to be bigger than what it is now. That will be all for today's news. See you on our next video and thanks for watching Critty Boy Update. This is God Politics and Life News. Ah, yeah, just follow us on YouTube. Just subscribe and get all the latest. Ah, news. Instagram. Nobody said anything. Play safe, bro. Play safe. Put yourself inside service account. Let me tell you, if you die, I will kill you. Don't play with your life, bro. Anything you go make, say you do, don't. Nonsense. Not be nonsense.